Hello my few subscribers. I got a comment left by Panda Attack 08 yesterday. I think it was yesterday when he left the comment. Anyway, I got a comment from Panda Attack 08 asking for information on how I wired up my switch at the minecart junction. So I was just checking on my farm here. I don't like to harvest things until everything's fully grown. So. Go back. And I'll show you guys what all I did. Alright, here we got my switch, it's set to greenhouse one right now. And here I got red dust connecting to the switch. Without the red dust, the switch is pointless, it doesn't work. It supplies power to the red ore. Anyway, travels down here, where I got it hooked up to an inverter. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to stretch it all the way to the track, and I'd hit the 15 block limit. So, as it hits the inverter, which is just a redstone torch connected to red ore on the other side, and since this torch is receiving power, it's not giving any power to this. Whereas, where the other one comes in here, it doesn't send power and it gives power to the next line. See if this is gone that's weird. It's never done that before. But um, <laughs> anyway, I don't want to mess up my, my setup. Ooh, the lag. Okay. I got visitors upstairs. Anyway, I pass this inverter down. Oh, I, now I know why that wasn't working. There we go, see? In this case, it gives power. And this one turns off. But, with it receiving power from the other switch, that is able to turn on. And with the switch set to my second base, it's the exact opposite. So, torch here. And I just got the red, red ore mm -hmm. moving up to this right here. And since this is receiving... <clears throat> excuse me. Since this is receiving power from the other torch over here, then this doesn't light up. And this is directly under the track section. So, this is the, a very basic example of what you can do with redstone. You can do all sorts of things. I haven't looked into it all that much, but I've heard people making actual working clocks with redstone. So, there's that. And, oh, I want to leave you guys with a story that, you know, something that happened to me down in the mine. Um, <laughs> see, I was stuck. I was trying to um, get into an area. But, um, uh, one second. There we go. Interrupting zombies and crap. Anyway, um, I was trying to get into an area, and every time I tried to get into the area, there was either skeletons or or uh, creepers coming in after me. One of the creepers actually managed to get my health all the way down to one, so that wasn't very nice. Anyway, I went down in there fully prepared for the 
third time, I rounded a corridor and there were two creepers and a skeleton right behind one of the creepers. A skeleton randomly sh fired at me, hit the creeper, and the creeper turned on the skeleton and blew up. And <laughs> it killed all three. It killed itself, it killed the other creeper, and it killed the skeleton. Best thing that's ever happened to me so far. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, short little video tutorial demonstration deal. And um, episode 3 will be uploaded tomorrow. And uh, if you have any more questions, just leave me a comment, send me a message. Uh, if you want to invite me to your server, that'd be nice too. If you would like to make a video explaining how to set up a server, that'd be even better, because I'm a noob at this kind of stuff. So That's it. See you guys later. Bye.